That was a funny, <laughs> yeah. uh, funny yeah. comment. Yeah, yeah he's was. been he's been working and, and doing Dell since he was what 1920. Uh, we were trying to figure 19, that out earlier. 19? I think it was 19. You said 19. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were right. <laughs> I was. I was right. <laughs> we should have placed a bet. So, so what are you guys hearing from the the people here? So so far, it's been it's been really good. We had uh, Island up this morning. They were talking about how they're using, uh, mm -hmm. how, how they're working with Dell, uh, with Equalogic, to yeah. and and Compellent to to uh, to drive different workloads in their in their cloud infrastructure. Um, I liked Michael's comments around sort so, you know we were talking we were on a greater good theme yesterday, yeah. right? right? And I and I. <laughs> You know, and I like to I like to, to um, I like to hear what what uh, Dell is doing. Dell's doing through some of their partners to sort of advance uh, advance uh, things for the greater good. As mm -hmm. Island is doing some work with some pharmaceuticals yeah, to yeah. improve uh, I I improve uh, drug research and things like that. So, yeah, so I want to delve it's more always, into it's that. It's always fun to see uh, you know where your product ends up. I mean, you build yeah. a storage device, right? But uh, you know the hospitals and research firms and nonprofits and yeah. you know uh, I was telling one customer a story about the Royal Horticultural Society in London. I mean, so it's neat to see what you're. <laughs> Do I was tell. At, I was at Heineken last week, right? Yeah. You know, they make beer. With yes. our, you know, our storage helps make. You were beer, having right? beer yeah. last night too. Right? <laughs> yeah, I was that having beer be last new night tag too. Tagline: <laughs> Our storage helps make beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we always say we have fluid data. They're the ultimate fluid customer, right? Yes, so exactly. Who's better than Heineken? <laughs> but horticulture is important. It's important in part of right. pharmaceuticals as well, yeah, right? Yeah. And we yeah. find a lot of new compounds in, uh, in, in, in different plants, things like that, yeah. and get applied different ways. It, it sounds the like nice thing, it's all data intensive. Yeah. Yep. yeah. It sounded like Michael was very interested in that medical field mm -hmm. and, and using you know Dell products to move forward in that area uh, and, and kind of push the limits in terms of how everything's organized and, and gathered. And, yeah. Um, so that that's interesting to me. I, I am passionate about the medical industry, not you know from from a from a technical perspective, yeah. you know. So uh, well, unfortunately, we're all going to need it too, right? Yeah, so definitely. It, it, it's, it has a personal importance for a lot of people. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you, it's um, it, it's going to transform technology actually mm -hmm. uh, because it's so big and the data you're talking about genomic research and uh, oh, yeah. it it is it's the next industry. I think it's going to be really really big. You know, just like a com the computer industry changes, it, that's going to change things, and genomics is going to be a big piece of it. Definitely. And very data intensive. So, so one of the other things that you were talking about is innovation. Mm -hmm. You were saying that the big, the you know, benefit of being small yeah. <laughs> is uh, that you can go to the innovation comes innovate, easier, right? Yeah. right? Uh, but and, and but the benefit of having a, a larger company and, and mm -hmm. being big is the clout that comes along with it. Can you expand a little bit on that? Yeah, you know, it's like. Um, Take your a young startup company, or whatever you can innovate in a, a single area really, really well, better than anyone. You yeah. know, that's why you know, I talked yesterday about all the innovations come from uh, you know non-legacy vendors in the last decade, okay. and so because you can focus on one problem and really change how you do it there. But if you can see in the room here, though, it's also big that you have to have this fit into a bigger universe, you know, a bigger ecosystem. And uh, you can try to do it, you know, guerrilla warfare style there, sure. but they don't give you any support. So the nice thing is when you got something like Dell is the largest reseller of almost everybody's equipment, they work with you right away. Yeah. So you're going to get access to their innovation sooner than others, and then you can innovate on top of that. So it's a different kind of innovation, you know, once you're established versus when you're starting up. But uh, the other thing you got to do, too, at the same time is don't lose that little small feeling yeah. in subgroups. You know, you don't have to do it in the big, you know, it's a sub part of the big right. group. And you but, talked uh, about that. It's one of the reasons I think that you're running Compellent, uh, you're doing integration. You talked about yeah. having the integration team show up on a weekend, right? Yeah. With your, uh -huh. Two but guys very, from the integration very, very, very team. Very quickly. Very yeah. quickly. Yeah. 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 But but you're also, it's Dell Compellent right now. Yeah. And so you're, you want to, you're using that to sort of help maintain the culture and as you ease it in, what's the story there? Yeah, they, they, I think they described, Darren described really well, the, um, you want to integrate into the bigger Dell, but don't lose the individual cultures and stuff. So they right. really let us do our own thing and yeah. you know, we have our own town hall meetings up there. And uh, The, the uh, one thing I've noticed uh, throughout the conference is that everybody talks about the culture mm -hmm. and how great and the culture is and yeah. all aspects of it. So I, I think that's just fantastic that you guys have been able to do that and, and, and it continues. Yeah, it's... Um, Cultures are really hard to build. We actually have a name for ours. You know, we call it positive aggressive, 
positive and, aggressive. Yeah, that's just, what we, that's yeah I've it. seen that quote before, and yeah. I, I, I meant to ask you yesterday to explain what positive aggressive. That means. would be great. Yeah, the the ultimate way to describe positive aggressive is ask anybody if they've ever worked at a negative aggressive company, yeah. and they know right away yeah. what it is. Okay, yeah. okay. so it's okay. basically not that. But it's uh, <laughs> the, the, the yeah. way I, the way I describe it is that um, we want to be as aggressive as any other competitor or person out there. So. You know, fight hard to win deals yeah. and get yeah. best prices from vendors, and right. you know, make things happen sooner rather than later. And uh, so, very aggressive. But it's uh, do it in a positive manner. Is kind of how you do it. It's just a different style. So you don't have to have somebody bloodied on the floor when you get the deal done. Uh, you know, if a rep wins a deal, uh, you, others aren't jealous. They actually are excited because they got another reference they can work with. Right. Um, you don't have to take credit for everything. You want you want to credit others with when things go right. Yeah. So it's a. It's a corny name, but it's actually, uh, yeah, I've had employees. A little employees, bit of touchy-feely there, too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they, uh, I've actually had uh, employees tell me that they've tried to take positive aggressive into their personal life. Mm. Which oh, means, interesting. Which means it ended up being more than a slogan for them. You know, that if, yeah. it's, you know, if they have to repeat good. the corporate slogan, that's one thing. But if they really yeah. try to personalize it, that's a good sign. So. That's very and, nice. And, and Dale's got a similar culture. They just don't have the word positive aggressive. Right. And there's just a lot more of them. Maybe you can yeah. license it to them. So, That'd be a good yeah. idea. I should trademark <laughs> that. It? Or uh, trade secret, right? That yeah. would be cool. Yeah. Shouldn't have talked about it to him. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I, think that, I think that opportunity's passed. I think it's over. <laughs> I think they bought that with the package, yeah. Is there anything that, uh, when you guys were asking mm-hmm. Michael any questions, is there anything that you found interesting or that you didn't know or that stuck out to you? I think I'd heard, heard most of it. Um, you know, he's. Uh, <laughs> it was fun to see him talk about co-pilot. He got a lot of people telling about our co-pilot yeah. last night and right. how important it is and how differentiated it is and he already knew it i mean he's already heard it and uh sure. it was, it was very supportive of it he actually um, does his homework yeah. he does his homework yeah. yeah he's a very engaged ceo very engaged in uh both with customers and employees and uh, so he, he knows what's going on there um no it was i mean i, I think it was kind of what i expected okay. frankly yeah okay. so 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 i'm i'm a little curious how did the how did the how did the deal happen um, can, can you give yeah. us? Can yeah, you give was, us any color on little, that? Little negotiating. No, so no, 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 no. I, you know, and negotiations are negotiations. Yeah. But um, I mean, sure. there's been, there's been. Nasty well, you know, it's kind, of, it's kind of funny. It actually started. Uh, you know, one of the last times we did this with you guys was at VMworld. We did a, yeah. a, a joint press conference with Heineken at VMworld, and uh, actually on the way to VMworld is when I got the first call. Okay. To, hey, could uh, we need to talk and learn more about you guys? So okay. Kind of right before so they reached out. And you didn't, you know, talk I didn't about give you guys that a scoop. on air no, on I the didn't. cube. I know. Come on. The cube would. Uh, I was, wait, wait, I was waiting for Oprah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, ouch! <laughs> that wasn't good. Was like, Callie is the next Oprah. You know that, right? I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> so it's it, um, then you got to understand what we have and yeah. you know, some joint meetings there with a lot right. of smart people and due yeah. diligence and uh, yeah, it was kind of a fun story. We. Um, we met in a hotel room, and you got to kind of be, you know, incognito. Yeah. So, so you can't put, you know, this room reserved for Dell and Compellent, right? right. That's probably not good for Wall Street uh, rumors. Yeah. But uh, so I, my assistant's name is uh, Lynette Wolf. Yeah. And I said, well, just say it's Wolf Enterprises meeting in that room. So we had that. I gave her a necklace, you know, the chairman of the board of Wolf Enterprises. But, uh, <laughs> but the Dell guys, I think, thought that that's what we, our connotation was. They're a big wolf that was going to uh, eat us or something. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> so I had to explain, no, that's Lynette's that's nice name. Yeah. Good, good. So. That's funny. And, 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 and Darren talked when he was up there with you about uh, that some of the fears that, that employees have is just going to be, you come in and slash and burn and yeah. take cost out, things like that. So, um, so then, but in fact, it's uh, about open Rex and let's get Girl going. Story, yeah. All right. So, and even just since we announced the deal, we've had almost 200 people. Wow. And how many? How yeah, many are you now? We're uh, a little about over 700. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. And, we'll, and we'll keep growing this year. And it's, um, you know, it's in all, lots of different functional functional areas, but a lot in engineering, support, and sales. So that's uh, exciting. That's pretty cool. Exciting you to see your baby about grow, how, right? how it was you were hiring as the deal was going mm-hmm. on and how it was super easy um, and probably the most efficient acquisition yeah. yet, right? Well, don't uh, don't get me wrong. It, it's hard work. But, oh, well, uh, of course, yeah, of course. You stay up late. <laughs> and the, the Dell people had a few more people to work on it than we did too, right? But um, yeah. uh, that that time between when we announced the deal until we closed it we worked a lot on integration planning which that planning can save you a lot of pain after it really happens so right yeah uh, that that paid off it really did and hiring in anticipation of the growth and 
avoids you know having support problems or things like that later on. If you were to do it again, would you change anything in that process? On the integration part? Yeah. Oh, uh, the negotiation you, you, part. <laughs> the negotiation, you always do some things different. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but um, no, it, it, it's it's the hard parts. Just going to be hard. Uh, you can yeah. redo it, but I think it'd be just as hard in other ways. So, okay. Yeah. You've started two companies, mm -hmm. right? I'm getting that right. This you is just, bet. You know, any advice for uh, for startups? Yeah, the, the the one advice I tell them is that if you feel like you want to do it, do it. Um, I have a lot of people tell me that they're worried about the risk and all that stuff there. And one thing I tell them is that um, when you do a startup, there's actually less stress. Uh, and the reason being is you control it. So it's stressful, don't get yeah, me wrong, but right. it's, it's one that's a controllable stress yeah. where if you want to change it tomorrow, you change it tomorrow, right? right. It's you. It's, so it's, uh, you don't have to worry about something else getting in your way. So if you got that bug, we need more, more going on in this economy. You, where do sure. you see the big areas for opportunities for innovation you know storage has been a right. lot of innovation yeah. and you brought a lot of it to market mm -hmm. through your two companies but where do you see like a big unmet need today well i think in addition to storage uh, i think security is going to be huge yeah. um and it's going to get you know more and more uh, important to it not that it's not important now but i think issues are going to happen and it's going to get uh, really key for us to to handle those types of things uh this whole integration of things is you know uh, making it automated, integrated, that type of thing. There's yeah. going to be a lot of innovation on that front there, mm -hmm. too. You know, we've got a lot of pieces and parts out there now, right? We need to kind of make it a little bit more of a you know, a, a seamless effort on that front there. Yeah. Those so are a couple areas. You, you, you founded both companies with the uh, same two guys, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, what are they doing now? So uh, 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 I'll give you one example. My partner, John, is real into actually genomics research. He's okay. really into that uh, at a scientist level, not just kind yeah, of casual. He's not, yeah, he's, 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 he was your CTO, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, he was the COO, C but, uh, oh, okay. just a, a brilliant guy there. And, uh, and Larry, I didn't, I, my wife was just at his son's graduation party, so he's getting kids graduating from high school right now. Oh, so, yeah. he's going to have some free time now. Yeah, get to right. one of the kids oh. out of the house there. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But no, no new startups yet from for them. No, and, uh, no, nothing to talk We're, about. Okay, I'm just, I'm just focused on growing uh, this to a billion dollars. No, I don't mean. Do. No, I didn't mean oh, you. Not I know for you're, you. The, you're not, I meant for your uh, oh, former okay, partners. Yeah. We wouldn't approve. Yeah. No. We, we want you to focus. That's good. <laughs> we want you back in the queue. That's good. <laughs> so, well, um. Yes. I just I just wanted to make sure that we don't keep him longer than we have yeah. to, but we are, we're good. Cool. We get right. to keep him for longer. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Darren's there. If you need Darren up here yeah. too, so yeah, yeah, we can get yeah. Darren on in a bit. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. So, you know, I guess just going back to the keynote. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you still get nervous going up on stage, or are you? Uh, oh, see, I keep going question. there with him, right? Um, Why do you, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Do I look nervous? No, no. you don't. <laughs> no, you guys, all three I just of you wonder, look very you, relaxed. You look very relaxed. Yeah. You look like you were old friends, and, and I, I mean, you've been working with him for a little while. We're, but, we're uh, young friends, not old friends. Yeah, the, you, uh, you and uh, Darren you know, were going you, at you, it. You get a little nervous, but. Um, it's if you don't get a little nervous, you're not at your peak. If you know right. what I mean, you got to kind of have a little bit of that nervous uh, feeling there. But it's not like I fret over it. Right. I've done it. I'm old school teacher. I guess that comes in handy again. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 You were talking a little yesterday about that. Mm -hmm. Nothing tougher than being up in front of teenagers, right? Yeah, that's right. It's just hard up there. You know, you, you can't. I, Threw a few jokes out there yesterday. I, I wasn't sure if they got them because you can't hear the laughter as well on the no. stage, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can't see the faces. I heard they're well. laughing hard, but I, I didn't think they're laughing at all. So. Uh, yeah. But, no, they uh, were laughing hard. We were all we were all laughing hard. So it, it just you see friends out there, and that yeah. kind of makes you relax, and then you try to make be normal. That's what I Absolutely. Try to do. Yeah. What's the toughest questions you've been asked at the show? Oh, you know the the channel partners have asked things about you know direct versus channel. Uh, you know those have been uh, ones we, we've got to address there. Um, you know how quick can you get some products out that people are waiting for? Yeah. They they're excited about a roadmap and. Uh, those are always you want today, not tomorrow. But right. uh, we're, we're real short term on a lot of those things, so Expand you got good good answers there. So you, you talked a little bit about that timing mm -hmm. uh, up on stage too. Can you expand a little bit on that in, in terms of the pressures that, that you have and, mm -hmm. and the things that you're trying to fix before you go to market? Right. Obviously. Well, one thing is really nice too when we got together with our engineering teams and kind of combined the roadmaps. You know, all the things we were working on are right at the top of the roadmap. Yeah. So we were, we're already working on the right things. And some things we we're uh, in the process of doing, Dell had already started some efforts uh, in those areas, you know, deduplication and 
uh, you know, the scalable file system. I right. call it the fluid file system. So the nice thing is we're going to be able to leverage some of those uh, those initiatives and kind of accelerate our endeavors there. Okay. So uh, it's um, it's gotten really, really the integration's gone really well, and the timing is there's just a lot more people to get going and uh, deliver on that timing, and that takes a while before people get productive. So. Yeah. All right. You have anything else? I think we're good. You I guys are always fun. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, always good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping Take by. Take care.